boy Buck Breeze, Mr. No Slackin' himself, No Slackin' and Ball, it's bad for your health. Yeah, I'm a shake born shake time, you know what I'm talking about? I just came to hit y'all with a little something to slide, you know what I mean? I got some shit I gotta do, and as you should too, you know what I mean? See all my shakers, I'm gonna need y'all to check in, man. Shake boys check in, shake girls check in, tap in, everything shaking, check in. We gonna jump right into this. No slacking fam, yo, some people done broke out. Niggas done broke out, you know what I'm saying? They done broke out. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said they got tired of sitting up in that big man, got up out of there, you know what I mean? So, yo, it's, I don't know, it's, who would have escaped Georgia inmates, and how did they escape? You know what I mean? The sheriff explains it. So we're going to get right into this. We're going to see what's good. Yo, like and subscribe, you know what I mean? Jump in the comments, write no slacking involved, you know what I mean? Let's get it, baby. Let's see what this inmates about. That are out at large at this time. Uh, those inmates are 52-year-old Joey Fournier, white male, gray hair, blue eyes, 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighs 140 pounds. Damn, 52 years old, weighs 140 pounds. Boy, I don't know how the hell you got away. He was light on his feet. He's being held in the Bibb County Jail for murder. Damn. Second inmate is 24-year-old Mark Carey Anderson, black male with dreads, 5. 24. We could, we could, I think we could probably look at the people. The, the 50 year old, that's probably the white boy right here. None of these dudes don't look 50. Did these niggas use him to get out? Let's get into this. We got to get into this. Five feet, nine inches tall. He weighs 165 pounds. He was being held for aggravated assault. Third inmate is 37 year old Jonifer Darnell Barnwell. Jonifer Barn. What you think he in for, y'all? Guess, guess real quick. What you think Jonifer in for? Uh, Jonifer, that's him right here. What you think he in for? My boy, like he probably in for a body. <laughs> yes, he do. Well, black male, five feet nine, weighing about 190 pounds. He was being held for the U.S. Marshals for the uh, uh, for U.S. Marshals okay. for drug charges. He's getting money. He's getting money. The fourth inmate is 29-year-old Chavis DeMario Stokes. Black male, black hair, 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing 160 pounds. He was being held for uh, possession of a firearm uh, by a felon, as well as drug trafficking. We're right now in... Boys is getting money. See them boys with the gold in their mouth? It's like, you know them boys get money, huh? Investigating this, uh, trying to piece together what all happened to cause this escape to take place last night. It was the get money boys plan. The niggas, yo, these two niggas right here, they had a plan, man. They had a plan, man. They, were, they ain't even feel like sitting no more, man. It's time to go. Uh, we do know that around six o'clock this morning that a break in the fence was found in the perimeter of the, uh, of the LAC jail facility. Uh, at that time, uh, they started going backwards to figure out what happened. Uh, they started viewing uh, video footage and discovered that around, uh, right around 3.30 this morning, uh, these inmates uh, were able to leave out from a uh, day room window. Uh, on a Inside job. A, uh, on a second floor uh, day room uh, area of the jail. They were able to get out, uh, go through that window, and uh, run out through a break in the fence. Uh, there was some video footage of a vehicle that had been there earlier in the evening. Uh, that uh, oh, is that like a Camaro or something? They had something fast sitting outside. They knew they wanted to get away. That's something. They had something fast outside. I don't boys. It looked like they had been tampering with the fence. Uh, as well as uh, bringing some items uh, into the uh, enclosed area of the fence that we believe uh, were used by these inmates to, to escape. Uh, that is why we have a lookout now for this uh, uh, blue Dodge Challenger. Uh, that we have. Challenger, like I said, something fast. Have a, that vehicle, we, we really have very good. I hope my boy had the license plate switch thing on that. Hope that's just a wrap, the color. You know what I'm saying? That better be just a wrap. You know what I mean? Got the wrap on it. Get them, break them free. Take the wrap off. Throw away the bullshit license plate. 
Good reason to believe that that uh, that vehicle is involved in uh, in this uh, in this uh, situation. Uh, one thing I want to make clear: whenever we put this out earlier, we let uh, everybody know. I think we got word out to the school system uh, just as a protocol to let them know that we had an escape. But there has been no indication whatsoever that any school or that any of these. Uh, 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 inmates or any of these uh, escapees have been anywhere around any of our any of our schools in our in our area. Of course, they're gonna say that. You don't know where the fuck niggas at. Uh, right now, we are following up on some leads uh, as to where these individuals may be, uh, and uh, and going forward, we have our partners uh, in uh, the FBI, ATF, uh, uh, state partners. Uh, all of uh, this is an all hands on deck situation I when something like this happens. So uh, we certainly want people to call in. We have a uh, uh, we gotta take stoppers. some bets. We gotta take some bets. Yo, who you think gonna be the first one to get caught? Let's take some bets on that, man. Uh, you know, one eight seven seven six eight crime. Uh, there's been a thousand dollar reward offered. Uh, for information that is a thousand dollars. Oh, y'all ain't gonna never find them niggas. <laughs> Who the fuck? A thousand dollars? If y'all don't offer that shit to twenty grand or something crazy, <laughs> excuse me. Damn, I almost choked on they bullshit. <laughs> shit. Uh, that will lead to uh, the recapture of these individuals. Uh, we have also set up two hotlines uh, here at the sheriff's office, and we'll be sending that out. For, Anybody calling for that more, shit? But those two numbers are four seven eight three one zero four four eight five. Up the ante, nigga. The other number is four seven eight three one zero four zero five two. Anybody calling that shit for no thousand dollars, man? Four zero five two. Uh, those two numbers, as well as certainly Crime Stoppers yeah, numbers, up the uh, will be uh, will be staffed twenty four seven. Uh, for anybody that has any type of tips or any kind of information uh, leading to the recapture of, of each of he these. He seemed like he's just exhausted with the whole situation. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to happy to do, answer. Do you, know, do you know how they got into the day room during those hours? That's, that's what we're looking at. Uh, we have some of our, our situations where they can get into the day room. Sometimes the day rooms are not locked. Uh, typically inside job <laughs> uh, when they are supposed <laughs> somebody got paid a little bag nigga to make sure that they was in that day room at the right time nobody was around they could jump out that window and get going on you niggas the car was probably down the street waiting for them I want to know what the white boy link was though everybody had a link trust me everybody got play a position man you know what I'm saying it's never like, nah, I mean, you just do what you do. Everybody has to play a position. You feel me? Supposed to be in bed. Sometimes the day rooms are not locked. Some of the doors are, uh, are. And then, they tell me oh, sometimes some of the day rooms ain't locked. Like, how the fuck is a day room not locked sometimes? That shit, that shit don't make no damn sense. Oh, no. Or, or where they're not uh, able to be locked, and then sometimes they're not. Typically, that's not, a, not an issue because uh, the inmates are supposed to be uh, at another part of the jail, but these inmates were able to get into the day room and uh, and uh, work to open up this uh, open up this window. So yeah, somebody helped them. All of that's being looked at. Great, great. Right? <laughs> I bet it is being looked at. The white guy is possibly in Rome, Georgia, his brother, where they last found him. Well, they could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. They better be on their way to Mexico. That's what they better be in their way to. Any tip, uh, these individuals could be anywhere. We don't, we don't know if they're all together at this at this point. We don't have any reason to believe that they had any type of association with each other out on the street. But they certainly had some type of association with each other in the jail. So to to take them Hell to the yeah, point they where that they all uh, wanted to escape together. But whether they're uh, how long they stayed together, or even if they're together at this point, uh, we don't know. I think they all split. I think they all went their separate ways once they got the fuck up out of there. Or, um, why was the public not notified? Shit, they might find one of them niggas dead. Um, 
Well, we were looking at it. We had to backtrack to figure out when it was that this escape happened, if we had had an escape, when it happened. As soon as we knew uh, internally that there was, our investigators were immediately notified, our SRT team, uh, the jail and the sheriff's office uh, leadership was notified, and so we were already following lead. Somebody bullshitting. Somebody know more than the fuck they saying they know. Even at that early hour, and so it was to make sure that we uh, had all the information to get out the right information. We had to do a census of the whole jail to make sure that we didn't have any others that were missing or any other places uh, in the facility that might have been compromised. But uh, so, but make sure we know that uh, as soon as we knew that there had been an escape, internally there were investigators, there were deputies on the street uh, looking for them as soon as we knew. Is there any staff disciplinary action coming? We're looking into all of that. We Right now our main goal is to get these four individuals recaptured uh, and any help that the public can give us in that regard will do. Uh, we will look at uh, what needs to be done in the jail setting or, or staffing and that sort of thing uh, going forward. We'd already Free the guys. <laughs> started uh, making some staff changes. In fact, the major of the jail, this was his first day uh, being assigned in the, in the corrections. So he sort of got a, uh, he got a good wake up call this morning. So, uh, uh, but uh, yes, we have, he did. Uh, good staff in there. We may make some more. Ch he definitely got a wake up call. His first day. First day in, you got escaped inmates. They probably even knew that shit. They probably knew it was a nigga first day about to be coming up in. Know what I mean? So, okay, yo, it's a good time. Yo, let's do this shit now. Changes going forward, but uh, right now my focus is getting these individuals back into jail and we'll dissect what. Free the guys! Happen and fix that as we go <laughs> forward. Grant, I think you had a question. How many, uh, how many people were staffing the jail between 3 and 6 a.m.? Not as many as we would like. Well, but an exact number? I mean, they don't want to give it out. They don't want to tell you how many staffers they got in the jail and shit. Like, you know, that could be giving them the, the next motherfuckers plan who want to get out. <laughs> there, was, there, was, yeah. there was less than 10 people working in the jail. And how many people detained currently? Damn. You know, that's a good thing to know right there. Yo, free the guys, yo. It's only 10 people working in jail at certain times, huh? 10 people? You know what I mean? Inmates in there? That's why they keep that shit locked down like that. They really think they're controlling you on some shit, huh? Hmm. Don't let a device get made. We just happen to be able to unlock cells or some weird shit or something. Something. Change the whole game up on them. I'm sorry? How many people do you have detained currently? Like uh, a little over 800. And so that's been a that's been an issue for us staffing uh, the conditions of the jail. Uh, we have a 43 year old jail, and this is this happened in the oldest part of the jail. The old them niggas wanted out. One is just the same jail. Y'all heard that story about the dude in Georgia? He was in jail, and uh, the bad bugs basically like ate him alive or some shit. I think that's the same jail. I don't know. Like I know it was a jail in Georgia. But I believe that shit happened at. Y'all can look into that and check that out. Like, that, that was some real shit. Like, they said the jail conditions was, like, terrible. It was so bad. Like, they was getting eaten alive by bed bugs and, and all this other crazy shit. But supposedly they ain't feed him. Like, he was, like, a healthy-looking guy when he at first went in. And then, like, it showed him over time he was looking crazy. Like, like, damn. Oldest run down this He actually died jail. from that shit too. So that's, the I've shit been killed talking him. about we need a new jail. We need a new jail. We have a jail that is falling down on us, that is breaking down. I think there's some uh, there's some elements of all of that 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 the jail's fucked up and niggas went out. Straight up. That's all it is to it, man. The jail fucked up and niggas went out. Word up. Man. Played a role in this guys, particular man. situation here. So uh, not blaming anything. We're going to go back and figure out what were the causations of this. We're and figuring this one rectify out. Rectify those things. But uh, there's never just one one thing that causes <laughs> something like this. There are several things. you damn right. one of them. But there are things that might could have been done differently as we look into this. Uh, nah, everything was done perfect. Guys got away. 
It was perfect. You know what I'm saying? That's all we needed. You know, everything was good, man. Good looking, baby. There, there are things that might have uh, uh, alerted deputies as to what was going on that they could have checked into it, but uh, that's all being that's looked all. into. We have an internal affairs <laughs> uh, investigation going into that right now. Uh, but that's right all. now, I want to catch these guys. We want to catch. He don't look, he don't look, of course he want to catch them. Like, of course he do. But he don't look like it's really bothering him that bad. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, look, maybe he's just exhausted with the whole situation. But he just don't strike me as like, yo, we got to get him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's not, it's not giving that. These guys, that is the most important thing, <laughs> right? Look. How believable do, does he look? That is the if I yo if I got a pair of y'all and I was like no slacking involved, would you believe that is no slacking involved and Mister No Slacking himself? Hell fucking no! You better hit him with that shit, right? We want to get these guys right now. Where they at? The money's right here. Let's go. That's how you want to hit him. What are you talking about, man? You probably helped the guy know what's going on. Help four them. individuals back in the big four County individuals. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm sorry. It varies. It really does. It depends on how many people are on 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 a shift. It depends on how many people uh, you have. People who this nigga name is Sherrod David Davis. <laughs> Talk about a hell of a name. This dude name is David Davis. Look at his fucking shirt. David Davis. Like, what, dude? Like, <laughs> hell of a name, man. Hell of a name, guy. We call in. David we Davis. have part-times uh, that come in. Sometimes we don't have as many part-times working one shift as we do another. And we, it, It's always a, uh, a, a, a management thing. It's always trying to get... Blah, blah, blah. Who the fuck under that shit, yeah, man? Good looking, man. Free the guys, man. Good looking, man. Working. Somebody calls in sick. Somebody has to leave. Something happens. So we're going to look at all of the uh, uh, factors. Yeah, that we know. We the know. Staffing decisions and the staffing levels uh, last night to see what role that played into it. <laughs> this nigga just don't sound believable. He looks lost. Look at his ass. He looks like. Where did he find this dude at? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> person number that you know is the ideal Yo, staffing. Man. What is the ideal staffing for the night shift? Let me leave well, his ass alone, because I do not want him coming for me. You ain't gonna have no problems out of me when I'm in your state. Just know that, okay? Don't, I, I don't want no smoke, all right? Because I be out there in Atlanta, man. I don't want no smoke. Leave me alone. For any shift in the jail, <laughs> real about David Davis, people. we cool. All right? We've not been able to have thirty Shit. people in the jail working on any shift in a long time. We're able to do it with less than that. We're able to do it with as few as six or eight people. But when you want an optimum staffing level to have every position covered, it takes about thirty. You gotta think about something. If they got ten staff working in the jail. And it's 800 motherfucking employees. Say if you got 50 employees that's sick. Let's just think of it deeper. Say you got 200 sick employees. They got 10 staffs. A lot of employees ain't getting no. I mean, a lot of them, uh, a lot of them, a lot of them prisoners. I'm about to say that wrong. My bad. I'm high. You know, I be tripping and shit. Anyway, you say you. They said they got 10 staff workers for every it's it's um 10 staff workers and it got 800 prisoners right so imagine you got a hundred sick prisoners and they got only 10 staff like what the fuck like how that's gonna work out like somebody ain't getting some care of like you look, like that's why the conditions are so fucked up in here that's why niggas breaking out nigga that shit you ain't you even taking care of niggas i don't see how that shit even work out right 30 people to do that in the jail. That's crazy. Four inmates. That's that... crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Yo. I, hey, yo. I tell you what, man. Hey, yo. I t listen, this is what we got to do. I, I, I want y'all to jump in the comments. Jump in the comments. Write no slacking involved. And pick who you think is going to be the first one called. Okay? Pick which dude.
Let me see. Oh, let me, there you go. Names is nice and clear for you now. This one is Chavis. You got Chavis Stokes, Jennifer Barwell, Mark Anderson, and Joey Forner. Who you think gonna get bad first? I'm saying free the guys, right? But you know the feds, man, they be on their shit. Who you think gonna get away first, man? Who you think the smartest, man? Who you think gonna get caught last? Who you think gonna get bad first? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you my thoughts right now to keep it 100 with you. I think my boy right here first to go. I'm telling you. He first to go, I think. I think. Know what I mean? These two dudes is getting money. You know what I mean? My boy right here was in for trafficking. This dude over here was in for basically the same thing, trafficking, getting money, you know what I'm saying? Trafficking, you know, the D-Rugs, not people, you know what I'm saying? These two guys, my boy, I think he the one I said, no, he the one I said for murder, I believe. I, I forgot what he was in for. He, he looked like he was mad he, he got locked up too. These two dudes, like, they done been in jail a couple times, the shit really don't bother them. My man right here, like, he was stressing up in that cell. My man right here, he like, he just might be a little, you know, a little cuckoo nuts or whatever. Oh, no. Who you think gonna get caught first? Jump in the comments, man. Let me know, you know what I mean? Them boys on the run, man. They out of here, you know what I'm saying? I hope, hey, I hope they make it far as they can. I hope they'll never get caught. You know what I'm saying? But if we got a bet on it, who would you say? You gotta remember that these, these dudes out... It ain't many, it ain't no big record of people escaping from prison and actually not getting caught. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I hope I hope they make it though. I hope they all make it. I hope they all go free. Hope they don't get caught. You know what I mean? But we know that shit hard. So yo, it's your boy, Buck Breeze, Mr. No Slacking himself. No slacking and ball. It's bad for your health. Yo, I'm a shake boy, shake time. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm about to slide, man. Meantime, we'll jump in the comments, man. Right, you know, slacking and ball and everything shaking. Check in. You heard me? Hope my boys right here move safe, man. You know what I mean? Don't trust nobody, man. You got to move, man. Get that bread, man. Get up out of here. Hope they're on their way to Mexico because they're around this motherfucker somewhere. Somebody on the phone. Not for that $1,000, though. Hey, you never know. Some people down bad, man. They turn you over for that rat. Niggas get body for a rat, so, you know what I'm saying? Yo, <laughs> say it again, man. Free the guys. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm out of here, man. No slacking the ball, baby. Let's get it. I'ma do what I want, pursue what I want, that is my life I'ma say what I want, you can feel what you want, but it's my life I'ma do what I want, pursue what I want, uh, ready for life, for shit At least I thought I was, running around crazy, doing it all, still low buzz Sticking jack and this and that, nothing safe, cuz, always kept a strap, no slack So I was raised, son, when I started moving packs Day one, decided I was gonna stack one day, I don't wanna make runs Spinning all fast, make you feel like you don't make none Looking at my dad and bros, thinking I'ma be the great ones This sun can be rated, no limit to my crazy Wildin' on the daily, even plot on old babies All I do is get ahead, couldn't let life chase me Even watching through the threads of my mask, life shady When they don't know you watching things, you see, be amazing can't expect them to be real as you, don't fade it Shit will drive you crazy, fixated on full gaze Just put one in the chamber, let it lower, watch it patiently wait My life, I'ma say what I want You can feel what you want, but it's my life I'ma do what I want